you. The Chief Minister continues to face criticism for politicising the coronavirus crisis ahead of the poll. That's right, Pete. He's been described this morning as the Grinch who stole Christmas. Now, there's a good chance as a politician you'll get photoshopped on the front page of the NT News at some time during an election campaign. Some might argue that the Chief Minister, though, brought this one on himself. This follows uh, an interview he gave on Breakfast Television yesterday where he told Territorians to cancel their Christmas plans. He also said that hard border restrictions here in the Northern Territory would likely re remain in place for at least 18 months. That led to widespread confusion here because we don't really have hard border lockdowns here in the Northern Territory. In fact, the Northern Territory is open to basically the entire country except for Victoria, Sydney and a couple of other local government areas in New South Wales. Leah Nokiara, the CLP leader, she was uh, on the attack last night. She spoke to Chris Kenny here on Sky News. Here's a bit of what she had to say. I think the Chief Minister's comments are really reckless and irresponsible. We are 11 days out from a general election and so his political career uh, is on the line. Uh, but what he's done in those comments is use words like hard borders and indefinite closures, which has really scared people here in the Territory. Some tough talk at an election time just further shows how this government, how low this government will go to stoop to using the pa pandemic for political advantage. There's no active cases of coronavirus in the Northern Territory at the moment, Pete, but coronavirus is still the number one issue in this election campaign. In fact, Leah Finocchiaro herself has come under fire over comments she made a couple of months ago saying that the Northern Territory's borders should open on the 22nd of June. She is now the focus of a Labor campaign, act, uh, ca campaign ad. Uh, let's take a little bit of a listen to that ad. If I was Chief Minister, I would be reopening the Northern Territory's borders to the rest of the nation on the 22nd of June. If I was Chief Minister, I would be reopening the Northern Territory's borders to the rest of the nation on the 22nd of June. If I was Chief Minister, I would be reopening the Northern Territory's borders to the rest of the nation on the 22nd of June. If the CLP had been in charge, what would our news look like today? Authorised by A. Brereton, Australian Labor Party, Northern Territory Branch, Darwin. Leah Finocchiaro was asked if she would take those comments back if she had her time over again. Uh, Pete, she said that she wouldn't. She said that uh, the advice at the time would have meant that it was safe to open that, those borders. Here's a bit more of what she had to say on that issue. We haven't changed our mind. Back at that time when I made those comments, uh, there were no hotspots around our nation. And of course, had we have opened our borders on the 22nd of June, we would have done so with police still at our borders. Of course, collecting that really important information from people moving into the Territory. It would have followed the health advice and it would have been reactive. Only 10 days to go now, Pete, until the official election day here in the Northern Territory. But lots of people have been get, getting out and voting early. Those early voting centres opened on Monday. The Electoral Commission says that more than 12,000 people here in the Northern Territory, that's more than 10% of the total voting population, have already cast their vote.